The General Atomics MQ-20 Avenger, formerly Predator C, is a developmental unmanned combat aerial vehicle built by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems for the U.S. military. Unlike the previous MQ-1 Predator and MQ-9 Reaper, Predator B, drones, the Avenger is powered by a turbofan engine, and its design includes stealth features such as internal weapon storage and an S-shaped exhaust for reduced infrared and radar signatures. Its first flight occurred on April 4, 2009. The Avenger will support the same weapons as the MQ-9, and carry the Lynx synthetic aperture radar and a version of the F-35 Lightning II's electro-optical targeting system, EOTS, called the Advanced Low Observable Embedded Reconnaissance Targeting, ALERT, system. The Avenger will use the same ground support infrastructure as the MQ-1 and MQ-9, including the ground control station and existing communications networks. Flight Testing The first flight of the first prototype Avenger occurred on April 4, 2009 at the company's Gray Butte Field Airport Flight Operations Facility in Palmdale, California. The aircraft took off and landed without any discrepancies and was ready to fly again once refueled. Following flights were performed successfully on the 13th and the 14th of April. The second prototype Avenger performed its first flight on January 12, 2012, meeting all performance objectives and refining the first prototype design to an operational capability. The TAIL-2 prototype featured a 4-foot longer fuselage to accommodate larger payloads and more fuel. This larger Avenger can carry a larger payload of up to 3,500 pounds, 1,600 kilograms, of weapons internally and on its wing hardpoints. On February 15, 2012, the Air Force cancelled its MQX program, which was supposed to find an aircraft to replace the MQ-9 Reaper. The Sea Avenger variant was part of the Navy's cancelled unmanned carrier-launched airborne surveillance and strike UCLUS, program. On November 15, 2012, the Avenger flew for three hours while being controlled by the General Atomics Advanced Cockpit Ground Control Station GCS. The Advanced Cockpit GCS has a wraparound visual display and multi-dimensional moving map to increase situational awareness and reduce pilot workload. The Advanced Cockpit GCS has flown an MQ-1 Predator and is planning to fly an MQ-9 Reaper as part of an Air Force initiative to enable interoperability with all USAF remote piloted aircraft RPA. In July 2013, a third Avenger was scheduled to begin flight testing. Assembly of the fourth Avenger was expected to be finished by spring 2014. On October 27, 2016, General Atomics flew an extended range Avenger featuring wings extended by 3.2 meters 10 feet to 23.2 meters 76 feet. The extended wings add about 1,000 kilograms 2,200 pounds of fuel totaling 4,600 kilograms 10,100 pounds extending endurance from 15 hours to 20 hours but reducing internal payload to 3,000 pounds 1,400 kilograms. Since its first flight in 2009, the Avenger has completed more than 13,000 flight hours, reaching 11,000 hours in July 2016 and accumulating most of those hours within the past three years. Sea Avenger On May 3, 2010, GASA introduced Sea Avenger, a carrier-based derivative of the Predator Sea Avenger UAS, intended to fulfill the U.S. Navy's need for an unmanned carrier-launched airborne surveillance and strike, UCLUS. The Sea Avenger included a retractable electro-optical-slash-infrared sensor, internal weapons bay, and folding wings. The aircraft structure was designed with the flexibility to accommodate carrier suitable landing gear, tailhook, drag devices, and other provisions for carrier operations. In April 2014, General Atomics displayed images of the Sea Avenger at the Navy League Sea Air and Space Exposition. As requirements for the UCLUS program were altered from a high-end strike aircraft to an ISR machine operating in permissive environments, the Sea Avenger was modified accordingly. It appeared to have four external hardpoints and a small weapons bay, a wing-mounted buddy refueling store to perform as an aerial tanker, and a larger airframe with a larger engine. If Navy requirements favored a UAV optimized for permissive ISR over broadband stealth, the Sea Avenger would better meet them, as it was originally pitched as having a reduced signature to be stealthier than other aircraft. Sea Avenger stealth capabilities seem to be limited to higher frequencies like C, X, and Ku bands, instead of broadband stealth effective against low-frequency radar bands like VHF and UHF. 
In October 2017, General Atomics released images of its submission for the Navy's MQ-25 Stingray, an unmanned aerial tanker that formed out of the UCLA's effort. The aircraft is an Avenger-based wing body tail design with a standard D704 body tank refueling system that has an electro-optical ball like the Predator and Reaper, landing gear that pulls into the fuselage, and a system for maneuvering around the flight deck using gestures from the flight crew. Though specifics are not known, the basic requirements will have the Stingray deliver about 15,000 pounds of fuel 500 nautical miles, 580 miles, 930 kilometers, from the aircraft carrier to increase the F-18 Super Hornet's combat radius from 450 to 700 nmi, 520 to 810 miles, 830 to 1,300 kilometers. GASI's design is larger than the Sea Avenger and is powered by the Pratt & Whitney PW815 high-bypass turbofan, the same engine used on the Gulfstream G600. Generating 16,000 pounds 7,300 kilograms of thrust, it is four times more powerful than the Predator Sea's PW545B turbofan, 29, and the most powerful engine used by any Stingray competitor, 30, in addition to structural reinforcements and additional systems for carrier operations, the aircraft is fitted with the same landing gear and arresting hook as the Super Hornet and has space available for future growth to perform ISR and strike missions, it would be able to fuel four to six aircraft. The MQ-25 contract was awarded to Boeing in August 2018. Avenger ER on October 27, 2016, General Atomics Aeronautical Systems Inc. GASI, conducted the maiden flight of the Avenger ER. GASI extended the wingspan of the Avenger ER by 3.2 meters 10 feet to 23.2 meters 76 feet and enlarged its fuel capacity by 1,000 kilograms 2,200 pounds to 4,600 kilograms 10,100 pounds compared to previous specifications. The aircraft carries up to 1,360 kilograms 3,000 pounds in its internal payload bay, 227 kilograms 500 pounds less than previously described. The modifications extend its endurance from the original 15 hours to 20 hours. The Avenger ER uses a modified fuselage design, completed in 2012, extended by 4 feet to 13.4 meters 44 feet to accommodate larger payloads and more fuel. Earlier in 2016, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration granted GAASI an experimental certificate that allows it to fly the Avenger in the national airspace system. From 24 to 25 January 2018, an Avenger ER set a new endurance record of 23.4 continuous hours, exceeding the 20-hour flight test goal and reflecting a 10-hour improvement over the baseline Predator Sea Avenger. The Avenger ER also has an increased maximum gross takeoff weight, MGTOW, of 19,500 pounds 8,800 kilograms using a co-cured composite center wing and heavyweight landing gear as well as a dual redundant, lightweight brake control capability using a lightweight hybrid linear anti-lock brake system.